Hello, hello! Welcome to Ivana's Noshk Life. And why I resigned? I will tell you after a small tour in the Antenu Jovic buildings. Let's go with me. This is last day of July, and it means that this is my last day working at Antenu. And I'm going to deliver some stuff that I had at home and also to pack my things in my office. See you there. So I am already here in the place and I will also give you a short tour of and the new buildings. This is where everything has started and I will tell you this story later, but let's see what I actually brought with me. It is not that much, but it's Prusa printer that I had at home. Some uh, stuff related to Prusa printer, some filaments and also box where I will be packing everything. And of course I have with me computer my MacBook Pro that I used for working and the book that I had at home and that's all. Not that much as you can see. This is what I'm delivering today. Let's go! So we have offices on the fifth floor, but all other floors are used for studying. And the first one where I enter is lab. See you in my office. me a while and finally I have sorted all of the things that I have collected throughout the oh my gosh eight years of my life this is the pile of the literature that I read throughout my last five years but actually it's not all of the things that not all of the articles that I read in addition I had at home like half of it something like half of the same pile of the articles that I have read uh, that uh, I uh, recycled. So this one will go to the recycling and this one it's a very different, very sensitive uh, document. So something that has my signature or someone else's signature or very sensitive information. So this one will go into the shredder. This is what I already packed to take home. I have sent emails, some of them personally, to the people who meant a lot to me and also to my colleagues to thank them for everything because I'm really thankful. Uh, I had a really nice eight years at Antenu. It's been some challenges, but they will be everywhere. It's a life. Uh, it will not be interesting without challenges, but still I grow a lot personally, professionally, so I'm extremely thankful for everyone who's been with me, who taught me some stuff. and uh, But it's a new chapter that I'm opening. And why I resigned, I will tell you after a small tour in the Antenu Jovic buildings. Let's go with me.
So let me show you a bit how my university looks like. So that was the fifth floor where we have our offices. But there is the place where actually students sit and work. This is one of the newest buildings that we have. It's quite modern, so it's very large actually. As you can see, it's empty because it's Saturday and it's still July. So it means that everyone is on vacation. Some students are studying there. So this is how the classroom looks like. For those who are interested, this is a group room where you can, as a student, book it and come and study here all together. And you also, what I really like about this building, that you really have a nice, nice views from here on yours. Mm, it's not the best weather now, but still. So this is also a smaller group room that students can use for four persons. And the same here. I don't know what is happening, but the sound is, looks like someone is doing some job. I don't know. So it's also as you can see not only rooms, but if you want to study, it's like you just come and sit. I don't know where chairs are, but and you see here it's like summer course. It's one of the large ones. So then we go one more floor down. So the layout is quite similar, as you can see on each floor. Nothing very different actually or you can see a bit more chairs and you register yourself because of covid and here you can charge your phone laptop or whatever you also can sit in such places and you also have a quite large room there so if you go to the second floor here you have like large windows with a view on the building where everything has started for me it was that building this one actually didn't exist when i became a student in norway there we have labs this is the replica of the tallest wood made building that we actually have not far away from jovik in brimundal and i showed you actually it on the video <laughs> about uh, how much trip so if you want to see it go to that video and this is our cafe Chris cafe bar very nice coffee so the next time when i will come here i will come just as a visitor let's go to this building here it was my labs where i did a phd with editing machines they stay in the right here and uh here were, where my like first office was in this building. All of this, all of this, it is one uh, additive machine. This one, it is additive machine, polymer powder based additive machine that requires so much place. This is where a lot of my classes were. It was in this building. And in this room I had my PhD defense. This is where my PhD defense was. And I was staying there. Just there. <laughs> It started raining, but we are going to that building. I will show you where all students live. <laughs> it's like the most uh, used by students. Here you can buy office supplies, books that you will need for studying. And also there you can buy, uh, you can pay for the dormitory. Here it's typically you come and ask questions. There are ladies sitting there. So you come and ask what is needed. In the same building, we also have a library. This is the place where 
for eight years we had our lunch eight years i've been eating here a lot this is canteen so yes this is our canteen really cool there after you finish eating there you will kind of you also sort the food on the food and rest of all its rests and then you put sort by sorting like different plates and glasses and so on here students can print out um, but they uh, need to put money on the card and then print out here it's a kind of student parliament well we'll sit in there so this is from this end and then look at this this is cool and we are going there and we are going there so this was i remember this like when the first time i've been walking on this glass bridge it was just unbelievable feeling this is library look at this how cool is that and you actually can see it here Ta -da! so when i was a student i was quite often using those group rooms first of all we didn't have that building so we were booking online room and then coming and they're like really small look at this they're really small but it still was really cool option many 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 hours i spent by studying here this is like so many memories come back here this was my studying places and then you also could go when it was a nice weather we had some group meetings here oh so many memories i will come here as a visitor for sure and I'm really thankful to the ability and possibility to come here. It was a great time. I enjoyed it so much. But it's also nice to be able to move on. So thank you very much, High School in Jovic or MTA New in Jovic. And let's see what is waiting me in the future. So then you can kind of officially record me saying to the university bye bye assembly bye bye so why did i resign from the university uh, i think that the answer to this question uh, it is my personal and uh, maybe some of you would disagree but the main reason why i did it it was actually because every single time when i was going to students and teaching them stuff that i learned from the books i wasn't feeling confident enough i quite often i was asking myself a question the question is what if there is something else that is uh, better for me how it is to work in the private sector and not uh, university I, all, all my life, I have been a part of the university, uh, either as a student or later as an employee. And I actually have no clue of what does it mean to work outside of university. And then the question was to me, how can I teach students to be a really good professionals and to fit in the industry if I don't know how in practice <laughs> the life in industry is? So all of this started bothering me more and more and I felt a lot of pressure on my shoulders by thinking about that and I was thinking that if I want to go, to, uh, go and get this experience probably I cannot wait for too long because I will be older then and it will be hard to make this change without experience from outside and then I started asking myself a question so if for instance, I can go and um, gain this practical experience outside. Would I be able to come back to university someday? And then I understood that in Norway, it is absolutely possible and even more. I think that if I go outside, gain um, 
experience, work there, uh, improve as well my practical skills, adjust them not only um, to the books, so like because I learned everything from the books, from the articles, from the courses online that I took. Uh, and I uh, work a lot with data analytics at university and I felt that I need to go more deeper and I want to go more technically deeper so then I can be even better educated in the future, uh, even better educator in the future. So this is the reason why I resigned from the university as associate professor.